Hey everybody, G Bear here for the latest installment of Homesteading the Desert here on July 22nd, 2018. We're inside the cabin here, we're in my kitchen area, or looking at my kitchen area. And um, what I, we're specifically looking at is a shelf. I just built that shelf today and put it in there because I got up this morning, I was sitting here having coffee at my little temporary work area here and breakfast counter. And uh, I needed to move some stuff that was on there so that I could put my stuff that I was eating with in, pl in front of me. Well, I didn't have any counter space left. And I said, well, I got to do something about this. So I put a shelf up there and I got all that stuff that was on the counter off the counter. So that opened up all of this extra space for me. And uh, that worked out great. Now, you remember that when I started this, I had, I had to keep everything compact because this one room cabin had to be put together very quickly so that I could live in it comfortably in the winter time. So I did that. It's well insulated, upper, lower, the floors are insulated, the walls are all insulated. As you can see up there, you can still see the insulation. That's because when I put the room addition on, I left that open and that string going up goes all the way through the overhead and comes out the other side up here in the, in the attic area. So I can pull the wiring I need to pull for the electricity in the bathroom and the bedroom through that uh, opening. As right behind the big monitor is uh, my circuit panel. So that's uh, all stuff that's down the line. For right now, I just wanted to get some more function in here. And uh, those shelves worked out great. Now you remember, this is compact because of such a small room. This cabin right now is only 120 square feet. It's 10 feet deep by uh, 12 feet long. Well, I built this kitchen countertop here. And uh, I had gotten the countertop for free. And I got the sink for like $10. I got the faucet for free. That faucet came with my... Uh, filtration system and uh, that's where this soap thing used to be these two pieces of wood are cutoffs that were left over from building those shelves and they just happen to work just right for right there so I put those there and I have some of my rocks and things there some of my uh, collection um, just sitting there for temporarily right now but now I've got that um, soap up there which used to sit right there behind the coffee pot and that was not a good place for it so now it's up here and uh, yeah I know it's supposed to go through the countertop but I don't want to do that I, it's fine like that is I just pick it up I, I squirt the soap I need to and put it right back on the shelf so it works out fine all right now underneath here if you remember from an earlier video I was saying um, I wanted to keep this compact so the distance I had to work with here was 60 inches or 5 feet. And that would have meant that if I put a 36 inch sink base in the middle, that's 3 feet of that already. So I'd have to use two little 1 foot cabinets on the side. Those aren't going to give me any space or storage. Couldn't go that way. So I went up to 15 inch cabinets on the end. That takes 30. So all I had was 30 leftovers. I had to buy a 30 inch um base cabinet but it's not a sink base this was a drawer and you remember that from an earlier video um, last year when I was doing this and I put this in here so what I did was I added a couple of hinges here I took the draw mechanism and all that stuff out of there and I made this a tilt out so this little metal thing down here I made that out of some scrap metal I had laying around and it springs to pull out like that so I can lower this down and get into it you can see my filtration system inside there and it's easy to get to all the plumbing and I got these little baskets at the uh, uh, 99 cent store and uh, they had suction cups on them to stick in the shower I took the suction cups off put screws in there and now I got three little storage units and I put two little key hooks in there so I could hang some keys to get them out of sight if I needed to so what did I do with the drawer I moved it down to the base and I made a pullout. So now I can pull stuff out instead of getting on my hands and knees and crawling down inside there to get stuff. And I put my 
paper towels on the inside of that door. They fit just perfectly. And I put a shelf up in there. That's a shelf that used to be in the back of this cabinet. I put it up on the side there so I could um, put some other stuff up on there and put my filtration system up there. All right. In the bottom of this one, I got my water pump down there. That's a 12-volt um, pressure-activated pump. And that's the switch for it right there. If I have to shut it off, if I'm going away, I don't want to leave it on. If a, a, a line burst or something like that, that pump would just keep on running until it, it drained the whole water tank. And then the uh, uh, pump would burn out. It'd just be a, a real mess. So I put a safety switch in there. I can shut it off when I'm not here, uh, if I'm going out of town for a while. All right. So now my coffee pot and my uh, bean grinder is over here and that makes it easy and uh, like I said this little shelf here um, all I did was mount some brackets on there so it just fits over the door and I can take it off of there and take it apart and it stores right inside of that cabinet and gets out of the way all right on the upper part I put that cabinet up there um, the way they're supposed to go standing up I had bought three of those well over here, if I put them standing up, I wouldn't have any room for my microwave. So you see how close I am to the ceiling up there. Uh, it's just, it just wouldn't work. So <clears throat> what I had to do is turn them sideways. That's a little modification I did. So now these open up like a motorhome cabinet. And so that they don't fall down on you, I put this little bracket on here that I bought at the depot. And then I can just close it down like that when it's not in use and I did the same thing on that one and you see the shelf is crooked that's because originally this one was down one inch they both had to go up an inch so the microwave had enough clearance down below here um, above the stove by the way this microwave has an, a, a built-in automatic fan um, switch so it's a heat switch so if I turn on one of these back burners for a little while and the heat comes up and gets too hot underneath the microwave the fan automatically turks, turns on and cools everything off all right um, you see I mounted my knives uh, instead of laying them on the counter I mounted them on the wall gave me a little more room there's the butcher block I made a while back and I set that on top of this cabinet which used to be a temporary cabinet holding a camp stove before I brought up my big stove so now I got my big stove up here. I don't need the camp stove. That's in back inside the container in storage and away. So what else did I do today? All right. <clears throat> I had some wood that I recovered from somebody trashing it. And I said, well, uh, see, I, I can make a nice little headboard out of that. So that's what I did. I made a headboard for my bed. If you remember, this is the bed that I built uh, I, over a year ago when I was first moving in here so I'd have some place to sleep. I bought a mattress uh, that doesn't require a box spring and then I made drawers here. These pull-out drawers have a, a recess under here to grab the handle and pull them out. And uh, I got three drawers there but they only go halfway under the bed. And if I lift the mattress I can lift out there's a hole in the um, quarter inch board that I had there. I can lift that out and in the backs of the drawers, there's long-term storage. So stuff that I'm not going to use for um, six or eight months or something, or even longer than that, I just store it all back there so it's out of the way. And originally, that outlet was going to be for the, uh, for the um, air conditioner in this window. But uh, for right now, that's a bypass thing. <clears throat> all right. So behind this door is where... The archway is going to go into the hallway that goes down into my room addition. All right, so that covers everything that um, I did inside of here today. Got my little fan up there in the window that blows down on the bed. So if it's a little warm at night, I keep all the windows and the door open. I turn that fan on and it just blows nice air across there. Then, of course, I got my ceiling fan up here just cranking away. And... Uh, that makes things nice and comfortable in here, especially right after the sun sets and the breeze picks up. The wind comes in through the, the kitchen window there, blows out that window and this door, so I'm comfortable. All right, last thing on the agenda. Let's get out here a minute. Have you ever had that thing where you're uh, working on a ladder, you're doing some 
it intricate work with a lot of screws and different parts and you put them on this little cup on top of the ladder and they fall off as soon as you move the ladder pain on the neck you're picking up all screws off the floor and everything well i come up with this idea i got one of these uh magnetic four inch magnetic trays that you can get at uh, harbor freight this was one of the free giveaways and then what I did was I put a carriage bolt in there. I haven't tightened it down yet. That'll go all the way down when I tighten it. And I drilled a hole through the top of the ladder. And now I have a magnetic tray there. So now when I tilt the ladder, you can see the parts don't fall out. They stay in the, in the magnetic part. And it's not in the way. I can still put my hammers and stuff like that through these holes. My screw gun through the little hole here. But now I could keep an extra screw tip and some screws or whatever I'm working with stay firmly in the ladder. And then when I move the ladder, I don't get a, a shower of metallic items on my head. So that was a, a little ladder hack that I did. And uh, that's about it. All right. Uh, the one, one other thing real quick here before I go. Um, this headboard, when I move this bed into the bedroom after the bedroom is built this back side of this headboard will be up against a wall um, so you won't see any of this this side of it so when this space down here will also be blocked off because there'll be a wall there so what i'm thinking of doing right now is i've got this extra 12 inches of depth right here i'm thinking about putting a couple of brackets on the back here that the screw holes won't be seen when I take them off and put it in the other room. And then I can put a shelf across there, a 12 inch shelf. So I'll have my little temporary workstation there where I can sit down and have breakfast or lunch or dinner or whatever, and or drink my coffee or whatever, watch TV, watch YouTube on the big monitor. Um, it's nice and comfortable for me right there and it's right underneath the fan. Well, so is this. And if I have a couple of people over visiting, and I'm cooking dinner for them. Uh, we either have to eat outside or whatever because there was no place for them to put their plates down in here. So I'm thinking I'll put that shelf here. I have two of those folding chairs. I can put those two right here, one and two. And then with that shelf right here, two people can fairly comfortably eat their meal. And I'll set that up so I can just pop it off if I need to get it out of the way so I have more room for bringing stuff in and out of this room and then down the line it'll come off permanently when I move the bed into the other room all right that's about it here's my weather for right now for today as you can see it's still 99 degrees with 19 percent humidity that was up to 40 percent earlier today the winds are at nine miles an hour now gusting to 16 it says it's going to rain well, it's not going to rain here. The uh, thunderheads and the clouds are um, out over Boron and out over Barstow and out over Hesperia and out over Phelan, but they're not out over me. All right. That's all there is to it today, people. Thanks for joining me. And don't forget, down at the bottom, right down there, give me a thumbs up. And all the way down further, and those with your cell phone, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom past all the other videos. You can leave a comment down there. Let me know what you think. G-Bear, signing off.